In this lecture, we will study the problems on Milne's method. We have discussed already the equations by Milne's method to solve the second order ordinary differential equations. And uh, I shall continue the problems on that. Just to make a reminder about the equations, how Milne's method is going to be applied, then by taking the second order differential equation, how it is to be reduced to the first order differential equation by choosing the value of z equal to dy by dx and then d square y divided by dx square is equal to dz by dx. So that we can take one, uh, pro one function, general function which defines as a differential equation. Let me write uh, the equations only as a reminder and then I shall take the continuation of the problems. So Milne's method already you have studied the first order differential equations. And the first order differential equations we studied for two types of solutions by uh, predictor corrector method. One is predicted value due to Milne's and the another value of uh, the same equation at the asking value of x as corrected value. Now we shall consider the second order differential equation like this. Consider second order. ODV as y double dash that is z square y dx square is equal to phi of x comma y comma it is y dash with the initial conditions with the initial conditions y at x naught equal to y naught and y naught dash is equal to it is z naught. So these are the initial conditions. Then we find the values of uh, y values and values of z successfully three values of y and three values of z to be substituted in the Milne's predictor formula and as well as corrector formula. When once we apply the uh, predictor formula due to Milne's, we will get the functional value afterwards and that will be substituted at, uh, in corrector formula as y4p and z4p. How these values are going to be introduced, let us see from this second order differential equation. Then with the values y1, y2, y3 for yx and z1, z2, z3 for that is z of x and that is equal to y dash such that such that x equal to x1 and x2 and x3 y1, y2, y3 will be at x1, x2, x3 and z1, z2, z3 where, where x1 equal to x0 plus h and x2 is equal to x0 plus 2h and x3 is equal to x0 plus it is 3h. So these are the three different values of x and the corresponding values of y and z we can obtain. Then, from these uh, two differential equations, we are going to consider from this. The first differential equation we are going to consider as introduce introduce the dy by dx is equal to z. This is one equation, and so that this becomes dz divided by it is dx z equal to phi of x comma y comma z. So this you can call it as f1 and this you can call it as it is f2. Like we have studied in Renge Kutta fourth order method to solve the second order differential equations. Here also we will use the same type of values like at x1 as y1 and z1 at x2 as y2 and z2 at x3 as y3 and z3. So now we will have to find out the values of y at various various values of x 
and we will find the values of z at various values of x as follows. Then here z dash this becomes as z dash you can also take that is like this is y dash like this one is z dash afterwards we have by will n predictor formula as that is y for p is equal to y naught plus o h by 3 it is 2 times of z1 minus of z2 plus of 2 times of it is z3 then where z equal to dy by it is dx and z4 p this is equal to z0 plus 4 h by 3 should be 2 times of z1 dash and a minus of it is z2 dash and plus 2 times it is z3 dash. So, z1 dash, z2 dash and z3 dash are separately will be calculated at the given value of x otherwise at the asking value of x using the initial conditions. Now, afterwards you find the value of functional value by finding the by utilizing this y for p then we find then we find y for c of y for and z for c of it is that is z for then the character formulas are given by character formulas are given by y for c is equal to y2 plus of h by 3 multiplied to z2 plus of 4 z3 plus of z4 p where z4 p is this one then z4 c z equal to z2 plus h by 3 should be z2 dash plus 4 times it is z3 dash and plus of z4 dash so this is what we are going to calculate. This value will be referred to Z4 P afterwards. This is nothing but Z4 P we can consider previously calculated. Then what is the value of Y at X equal to that is X4 because in the character formula of two X3 we are taken as a result Z3 is that. Similarly here Z4 is that that means we are going to calculate at the asking number treating all the previous values as functional values for y and functional values for z. So based on this information we will take the problems how this Milne's predictor for character formula is going to be applied. Now this a problem is like this based on these predictor character equations due to Milne's. following table following table gives the values of y and y dash y and y dash for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to it is 0 0.6 and steps of 
steps of 0.2 with y satisfying satisfying the differential equation differential equation that is d square y divided by dx square equal to 2y into dy by it is dx obtain the values of y obtain the values of y and y dash y dash means z it is values of y and y dash at x equal to 0 0.8 by using minus predictor corrector method this is the statement of the problem this is a common statement normally which appears in equations and uh, here the table of values are given those table of values uh, when they are given directly you can use the predictor formula and corrector formula when the values of functional values of uh, three values of y and three values of z are not given then we need to calculate uh, by utilizing any starter method either by taylor series method or by picard successive approximation method given that x, y and z this is 0, 0, 1 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 that is At 0 0.2, this is 0 0.203 and 1.041, 0 0.423 and 1.179 and 0 0.6, 0 0.684 and 1 point, it is 468. What is the value of this and what is the value of this? That means you treat this as y naught, this one, then this must be the next value of y. That means this is first value after y naught, second value after y naught, third value after y naught, likewise z values. But what is this value? You have to check this. Okay. So we will solve according to Milne's predictor corrector formula by reducing second order differential equation into first order differential equation. When you are reducing the second order differential equation into first order differential equation, you will be getting two separate first order ordinary differential equations. Anyway, this is given equation itself is ordinary differential equation, but by reducing it to uh, uh, two first order uh, ordinary differential equations, then you need to calculate uh, two sets of values functional values so one is values of y and values of z therefore how this differential equation is going to be uh, solved by reducing to first order differential equation solution is like that so given that d square y divided by dx square is equal to 2y into dy by it is dx. This is the differential equation given to us. Then you are going to calculate by reducing this second order into first order by introducing dy by dx is equal to z. Introduce dy by dx equal to z. This is nothing but y dash. Otherwise, this is called y dash, this is called f1, and this.
this becomes that is a dz divided by dx is equal to 2y into z. This you can call it as f of 2, the second function. So, two first order differential equation. One is dy by dx, another one is dz by dx. That means y is a function of z and z is also a function of x. y is a function of x and z is also a function of x. Therefore, these values which you are going to consider, right side values as f1 and f2. Then what are the initial conditions? Initial conditions. That you can take it as this is x0, this is y0 and this is z0. So x0 equal to 0 and y0 equal to 0 and z0 equal to 1. x0 equal to 0, y0 equal to 0 and z0 equal to 1. Then what is x1, y1 and z1, x2, y2 and z2, x3, y3 and z3, x4, y4, z4. These are the values to be calculated how much and this is x3, y3 and z3 x2, y2 and z2, x1, y1, z1 and x0, y0 and z0. You can make use of all these three values to find out by predicted formula, Milne's predicted formula. Now to calculate, that is to find what is y at x equal to 0 point, the next value that is 8. That is equal to y at x equal to x4. That becomes that is y4. Y4 using predictor formula and z at x equal to 0 0.8. This is z at x equal to x4. This is z4. But using predictor corrector formula, you have to obtain all these values. Then So we will use accordingly the corresponding functional values with this equation because z dash is also uh, to be taken. This is equal to z dash. Then we will consider let z dash we call it as first value that is this is z dash is 2. Uh, first value is that is y and z. So therefore already all the three values are given. Then you need to take that is 2 into it is yz here I write let z1 dash is equal to 2 into that is yz then this is equal to 2 into z1 means at x1 0 point uh, 203 into 0 point sorry this is 1 point 0 on 1 this becomes 0 point 4 double 2 6 similarly z2 dash you are going to calculate it is 2 y2 and z2 that is equal to 2 into 0 point 4 2 3 into 1 point 1.179 this is 0 0.99 it is 74 then it is z3 dash this is 2 times y3 this must be y3 and it is z3 that is 2 into 2 point 2 into 0 0.684 into 1.468 should be 2.00 it is 82. After calculating all these three values, then you need to calculate the value of y4 p. Next you write y minus 
predictive formula because all the values we have like z0 uh, z0 z0 z1 z2 z3 like that it is given but at z4 you have to calculate the value of y4 and at z4 dash sorry at z3 dash uh sorry at z4 dash you have to calculate the value of z4 p then what is y4 p y4 p is equal to the formula y not 4 h by 3 4 h by 3 multiplied to it is 2 times of z1 minus of z2 2 times of it is z3 then these three values are given in the table You can write that one. Y not is zero plus four into h is point two. That is step size. That is divided by three. Divided by three. Multiply to two times. It is z one. One point one zero four one minus of one point one seven nine plus two times. 1.468. So this is why 4p is calculated and simplified as why 4p is equal to 1.0237. This is why 4p. Now we have to calculate what is z4p. So all these three values are to be substituted in z4p. That is. Z4 p is equal to Z0 plus soft 4 h by 3 multiplied to that is uh, 2 times of it is Z1 dash minus of it is Z2 dash plus 2 times of it is Z3 dash. Then you substitute you know, the calculated values. These three values you substitute in this equation. By taking z not equal to one, this is given as one initial value plus four by three into zero point two multiplied by that is two into z one dash is zero point four double two six minus of zero point nine nine seven four and plus of two times. This is the z3 dash two point two zeros. That is a two. Then you need to calculate that is z4 p is equal to two point. It is zero three and it is zero five. This is y4 p and this is z4 p. Therefore, you know, when once you calculate these two values. Then you have to go for functional value of z4 dash. Then z4 dash is equal to two times it is y4 p into it is z4 p. So this is two times y4 p that is one point zero two three seven into Z4 P. This is calculated as 2.03. It is 0.5. This simplification gives us 4.15. It is 72. That is Z4 dash. After calculating Z4 dash, you need to calculate the corrector value because already we have taken the predictor. Calculation that is predicted value we have taken. Now we have to go for corrector formula. So what is that corrector formula according to Milnes? That is y4 c and z4 c. Then by corrector formula, corrector formula we have y4 c. Is equal to y2 and plus of h by 3 multiplied to z2 plus 
z3 plus it is z4 p this is the character formula due to milnes then all these three values are already we have calculated then you substitute so what is the value of y2 that is 0.423 plus its value is 0.2 and divided by 3 then z2 is 1.179 plus 4 into 1.468 plus 2.03 it is 0.5 for this y4 c we have 1. Zero two, it is eight four. This is y four c, and it is z four c is equal to z two plus h by three multiplied by this is z two dash and plus of four, it is z three dash plus of z four p. Then you have to write. Okay, that means Z4 P. So Z4 dash you can call. That is also Z4 P. Then you substitute the calculated values from the correct formula. Then Z4 C is equal to 1.179 plus 0.2 plus 0.2 divided by 3. Multiplied by that is zero point double nine seven four plus four into that is two point zero zero eight two and plus so it is four point one five seven two. This calculation comes to be that is two point zero five. A two. This is for Z four C. This is by character formula due to Milnes. That means once we predict the value, then we need to improve that value upon it. Thereby we call it as corrected value by using character formula due to Milnes. Therefore, what we achieved here by four is equal to y at x equal to x four that is equal to point. A. That value comes to be 1.02. It is 84. Then z4 is equal to z at x equal to x4. That is equal to 0.8. That is equal to 2. Point, it is 0.5 and it is 82. So these are the values. Uh, new values which we can calculate using that is Milnes predictor character formula. That means when once we write the predicted value, then the corrected value also to be written. How this character formula is going to play the role? That is the improvement from predictor formula. Now we shall see in another problem, another data. I shall take how this uh, problem is going to be uh, solved. With the help of the same type of equations. The next situation, due to Milnes, is second problem I am taking. Use Milnes. Use Milnes. Predictor character method use Milnes predictor character method to solve the differential equation to solve the differential equation d square y divided by d x square. Plus so dy by dx equal to two times e to the power x is that for y and y dash for y and y dash at x equal to zero point four given that 
the values are given like this y0 equal to 2 and y0.1 it is 2.01 and y0.2 is equal to 2.04 and y0.3 is equal to 2.09 and the next set of values y dash 0 equal to 0 and y dash at 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.2 y dash at 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.4 and y dash at 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.6 use step length use step length as 0 0.1 that is step length as 0 0.1 means the difference between any two successive values of x. Therefore, here x value is 0, the next value of x is 0 0.1, next value is 0 0.2 and the next value is 0 0.3. If you observe the difference between any two successive values of x, it will be 0 0.1. Even if they do not mention in the statement of the problem like step length as 0 0.1, but you need to take uh, by observing the given set of values. If the values are not given, then you need to calculate by some other method uh, all the functional values. That means y, y of x and then z of x. Therefore, we will reduce this second order differential equation into first order differential equation. As a result, we will get two separate differential equations. Then we need to solve by Milne's predictor corrector method. Now, we will collect the data whatever it is given in the form of required symbols given the differential equation d square y divided by it is dx square plus dy by dx uh, equal to 2 times e to the power x is that. Now, introduce introduce dy by dx equal to z dy by dx equal to z means then this second order differential equation is reduced to the first order differential equation this is for example f1 and otherwise it is also y dash then this equation is this is dz by dx <coughs> dx plus z equal to 2 times e to the power x or you can write in another form z dash is equal to that is 2 times e to the power x minus of z and this is equal to should be f2 that is second function. So, this is one differential equation, this is a, a second differential equation from the given differential equation we have created two first order ordinary differential equations. Then you need to take the given uh, set of values, the initial values and the next set of values in the form of some table. Let me write that uh, table as follows. Then we have two equations that is uh, dy by dx equal to z and z dash is equal to this is 2 times e to the power of x minus of z. So, these are the two equations. <coughs> now, that the uh, values are given like this, initial values uh, that is y0 equal to 2 that means x, y and z. The given values you can arrange in the form of table that is x0, x1, x2, x3, then x4. So, what are these values you have to consider? Then x0 means the corresponding value is 0, 
that is point one, that is point two, this is point three, and point four. What is the value? Then y values. This is two, and z value that is zero. And next value at x equal to point one, it is two point zero one, and zero point it is two. 2.04, then it is 0.4, it is 4. 2.09, and the next value is 0.6. What is this value, and what is this value? Now we need to calculate uh, by using these given set of values and the differential equation. That means y at x equal to point 0.4. Equal to how much? And z at point four equal to how much? This is by Milne's predictor corrector method. So now you need to calculate uh, the predictor using the predictor formula. This becomes z dot. This is z one, z two, z three. But you need to calculate at x equal to x four. This is z four. That means x four, y four, and z four. Therefore, we need to write the predictor formula and uh, by calculating what is these values. That is z dash, z dash one, uh, uh, z one dash, z two dash, z three dash. You have to calculate. So by this equation, so z one dash is equal to this is two times of e to the power x one. Minus of z1. So this is z0, this is z1, z2, and z3. Therefore, this value comes to be 2 into e to the power. That is x1. X1 means it is 0.1 minus. This is 0.2. This gives 2 point. It is 0.1. It is 0.4. Similarly. Z2 dash equal to two times e to the power x2 minus of it is Z2. Thereby, two times e to the power x2 is 0.2 minus of 0. It is 4. This value gives 2.04. It is 28. Then Z3 dash it is two times e to the power x3 minus of it is Z3 two times e to the power 0.3 and minus it is 0.6. This value gives 2. It is 0.998. So these are the three values. Z1 dash equal to 2.01. It is 0.4. And Z2 dash 2.04. It is 2.8. And Z3 dash 2.0998. These are the three values. Then you need to calculate uh, the predicted value due to Milne's predictor formula. Then solution we are ready. Let Milne's predictor formula. Is what is that equation predictor formula? That is y four p. Y four p is equal to y naught plus four h by three multiplied by two times z one minus z two plus two times it is z three. All these four values are available from the table. Those values we can substitute. So y naught is two. Plus four by three, and h is point one. That is difference between any two successive values of x multiplied by two times. That is multiplied by zero point two minus z two. It is zero point four plus two times zero point. It is six, and this is for y four. This is for y four p. What is the value of y four p on simplification? This gives two point one six. 
this is for y4 p when once you calculate this y4 p uh, then you need to calculate what is z4 p so z4 p also takes the equation like this that is z0 whereas uh, here uh, symbols are there in terms of dash you have to write for z plus of 4hy3 that is 2 times of z1 dash minus it is z2 dash and plus 2 times of it is z3 dash ok z4 p is equal to z0 plus 4hy3 and 2 times of z1 dash minus z2 dash plus 2 times of z3 dash what is the value of z0 z0 is equal to 0 plus 4 by 3 into 0 0.1 multiply to 2 times of z1 dash that is 2.0104 minus 2.04 it is 28 plus of it is 2 times z3 dash that is 2 into 2.0998 then this calculation comes to be that is Z4P or 0 0.82368. This is for Z4P. Now you have to calculate when Z4 you are getting, you need to calculate its corresponding Z4 dash. So, what is Z4 dash you have to calculate? That is nothing but. This is your equation for z dash, for z dash, then z4 dash you are going to calculate, it is 2 into e to the power x4 minus of it is z4, ok, that is e to the power z4, z4 p, then 2 into e to the power 0 point, last number, that is 4, minus of this is Z4 P, it is 0 0.82368. This is for Z4 dash. Then this calculation gives Z4 dash 2.1599. So this is for Z4 dash. After calculating this, you can use now finally the corrector formula due to y and corrector formula due to z in order to improve the value what you have calculated from Milne's predictor predicted formula then by Milne's corrector method by Milne's corrector method we have y4 c y4 c is equal to y2 plus h by 3 it is z2 plus 4 z3 plus z4 p this is equal to y2 that is 2.04 this is y2 2.04 plus 0.1 divided by 3 and Z2 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 uh, into 0 0.6 and plus soft that is Z4P 0 0.82368 0 0.82368 so this is for Y4C what is this Y4C Y4C then by the corrector formula you are going to Right, two point. It is one six zero eight. This is by the character formula. Then Z four C. You have to write Z four C is it is the character formula for Z. Therefore, Z four C equal to that is Z two. Same equation in terms of Z. You have to write plus of H by three. And in terms of dash symbol you have to write Z2 
z2 dash plus 4 times it is z2 dash and plus of it is z4 p then this can be taken as z2 that is 0 0.4 plus of h by 3 0 0.1 by 3 and z2 dash z2 dash it is a 2 point 0 0.4 2 8 plus 4 times that is z3 dash this one that is 2 point 2 point 0 0.998 and plus of that is Z, Z4 dash. You have calculated that value as 2.15. 2.15 that is 99. Then this calculation that is Z4C takes the value 0 0.8201. 0 so this is the correct, this is by correct formula. Therefore, what we achieve from this table, so this is these two values, these two values, this is for Z4, this is for Y4. So Z4 and Y4, Y4 means that is Y at X equal to 0 0.4, that is fourth value. This is Z at X equal to 0 0.4. So what is the value? This is that is nothing but 0 0.8201 and this value is 2.16, it is 08. So these are the new values which you have obtained for uh, Milne's predictor corrector method. By Milne's predictor corrector method, you have predicted the value by reducing second order differential equation into first order differential equation and uh, two first order differential equations and afterwards you have taken two predicted values and uh, two corrected values. Let me give an example for the practice purpose uh, how the uh, same procedure can be applied in solving in solving the differential equation which is of second order and by reducing it to the first order differential equation. I will make the extra problem on this. Example apply Milne's predictor corrector formula predictor corrector formula to obtain the solutions. Solutions for y and y dash, y and y dash at the point at the point x equal to zero point four for the differential equation for the differential equation. That is d square y divided by dx square plus 3x dy1 dx minus 6y equal to 0, y0 equal to 1 and y dash 0 equal to 0 0.1. Also given that y at point 1 equal to 1.039 y at point 2 equal to 1.138 y at point 3 equal to 1.298 and z at point 1 equal to that is 0 0.695 and z at 
zero point two equal to one point two five eight and z zero point three equal to one point eight seven three. Then what is y at zero point four and what is z that that means y dash at zero point four. It is nothing but z at zero point four equal to how much? So these are the calculations that you have to carry out using Milne's predictor corrector method. So this is one example, but when you reduce this differential equation, you will be getting. So let me give a hint for that. Put dy by dx equal to z. This is one equation. You will be getting another equation. This is dz divided by it is dx plus 3x it is z minus 6y equal to 0. Then this is dz by dx is equal to 6y minus 3x into z. This is your second differential equation. So first differential equation is this and second differential equation is this and all the values are given. Refer to the previous problem how the data is accepted and uh, uh, written all the given values in the form of table then you need to calculate the predicted values in two sets of equations and corrector values in two sets of equations. So this is what uh, the Milne's predictor corrector method even you can find some extra problems uh, based on the functional values when these functional values are not given that means z values are not given then we, uh, yes, z values and y values are not given then we can use either Taylor series method or Milne's uh, sorry Picard successive approximation method.